this character will return in the next installment. This is a line that I'm sure a lot of us have seen, whether it's at somewhere in a superhero film that comes out at the end of the year, or whether it's some action comedy slash horror film that comes out at the beginning of the summer. That line really is a huge symbol of film universes, which is a growing trend in the film industry. With the release of Marvel Spider-Man coming out this week, I felt like this was an appropriate topic. I want to tell my listeners about this trend that has been growing over the past few years and also kind of inform them as to one, why it may be such a big thing that is growing and two, why some companies are not succeeding as much as they'd like to. So where did it all begin? It all began with Marvel. In the year 2008 they released Iron Man and it's a huge critical acclaim and a lot of box office success and it had a few uh, scenes towards the end that hinted at something much bigger. Ever since then, Marvel has been dropping a movie every year, sometimes even two or three a year, that has been establishing this large universe of shared characters. And af after the release of The Avengers, which came out in 2012, which has become one of the most uh, highest grossing films of all time in, box off in the box office, Many, many, many other companies from around the world have started to attach to this trend and go after it and try to chase that same success. So, you may be wondering, well, the only ones I know of are Marvel and DC. Turns out that there's a lot more. This past month, we saw the release of The Mummy, which is part of Universal Studios trying to establish a large universe of monsters such as Frankenstein, the Mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, and the Invisible Man. Um, we've also seen King Kong, which came out earlier this year, which is also meant to establish a large universe of monsters like Godzilla, King Kong, Mothra, many other uh, monsters from the 40s and 50s. Not only that, but we've also seen Transformers try to adopt the same trend, which is growing a universe of spin-off films and sequels and prequels and things like that. We've also seen companies like Sony Pictures try to launch various different film franchises including Ghostbusters, Spider-Man, not including the one that is about to release, 21 Jump Street, and Men in Black. So with all of these companies that have been trying to launch these new things, we have to wonder where is this trend coming from? Well, we know that Marvel is the one who really started it, and they've been running wild with just critical and box office success ever since then. There are over 20 films in the Marvel Universe at this point, and most of these other film companies are just now getting their boots off the ground, such as DC with Batman v Superman, Wonder Woman, and Suicide Squad from this past year. So now the question becomes why is it that these films aren't doing as well as Marvel's? Well there's various different reasons that it could be. Many would say that it's due to a lack of planning out. Marvel has been planning these movies out for five to six years and they've written these things out until 2020 whereas many of these other studios are just now catching on. So that is a possible reason that these that these other companies are not able to succeed as well as Marvel has. Others would say that a lot of these companies are just trying to cash in on the trend. And while I can't offer my own personal opinion on that, it's really just a matter of looking at the writing and the critical reception of these films. As I mentioned earlier, The Mummy, which released earlier this year, was a total bomb in terms of critical uh, reception and box office results. Um, King Kong, which was part of Legendary's universe, while it wasn't a failure in either of those aspects, it didn't really seem to make the huge impact that the studio wanted it to make. So this trend is growing, it's continuing to grow, and a lot of studios are still pouring money into the idea that they can grow this their own universes. Whether they'll be able to, who knows. I think that the trend is very interesting to see, it's very interesting to see these companies just chasing after it and trying to do the best they can to create some large universe of shared characters and shared stories. What happens with all of them, I have no idea. I guess we'll all have to see.